Alright, so in this video, uh, we're going to be showing the butane pencil torch from Harbor Freight. Uh, if you want more information on it, the item number is 41169. So this torch uh, is, has a igniter included into it. Now Harbor Freight makes um, other torches. There's a micro torch, there's another version, which is a little, another little pencil torch. But uh, I'll do another review on this. But anyways, um, this one is also a solder gun. So it comes with little tips. And it comes uh, with an adapter here that goes over the tip of the pencil torch uh, to use as a soldering iron. But I'm going to take this thing out of the box and light it up. Now when you get this at Harbor Freight, they do not include the butane for it. So, I did get this at my local uh, home improvement store, um, which is Lowe's, and I'm sure other home improvement stores sell this. I think you might even get this at Willy World, but uh, this thing goes for about six dollars. It holds uh, five and a half ounces of liquid butane. Um, the way I use or refill these this is I actually shake it and then I'll refill it um, upside down. That way the liquid butane actually goes into the torch instead of just the gas or the fumes from the top of the bottle. What you get here um, also is a um, owner's manual and I've already gone ahead and I've Filled this thing up so it's ready to light up. The tips look uh, pretty good quality. Um, I don't know if they're all s stainless or steel. Looks kind of like stainless steel tips. Anyways, I'm going to fire this thing up. Uh, turning it upside down doesn't really affect the flame like what it does with most um, torches nowadays. I'm just flipping and they usually just blow out. Um, dirty torches will also do that. But, uh, just pretty much uh, from what I can tell, this is just turn and press the trigger and, and you get one smooth, steady uh, flame there. Just turn and light. That's really cool. This thing lights up every time. Now the manual states that it does run for one hour, but I doubt it. Um, maybe, maybe if you actually uh, adjust it and use it on a lower setting, but um, I doubt this thing will run for one hour. I'm gonna put the tip here to demonstrate, or the adapter actually. It just goes over the tip of the lighter there or the pencil torch and you can use any any tip you want I'll just put any one over here now as you can see there's a flame coming up there I'm just going to adjust this just a little bit so that little flame disappears and all the heat is concentrated at the uh, bottom of the tip there right there I think that that's a good setting right there that keeps it uh, nice and hot and I'm sure the tip is really really hot at this point so I've got some pieces of solder here and I'm just going to apply it to the tip just to see if it melts it and uh, it 
sure does. This thing is up to temperature. That thing is really, really hot. So, it's no problem when it comes to soldering. Um, taking off the tip, you can use it just as a regular torch. It's a really cool little tool to have in the toolbox. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to demonstrate how to fill one of these pencil torches up. I'm just going to put it on there and apply some pressure. Now, when you do this, you'll feel the pencil torch body actually cool down from the liquid butane going inside the torch. Now I can hear the butane going inside. Uh, it's quite loud at first, and then it kind of bubbles for a little bit. And that should be good right there. I couldn't hear anything coming out. So as the instructions say, um, once you refill this, give it a couple minutes, or at least a couple of seconds, for the fuel to actually stabilize. Now, the other torches that are available through Harbor Freight say a couple of minutes. This one actually says, I think about one minute, uh, or a couple of seconds actually. But um, that's a good idea, just to let it stabilize for at least five minutes. So I did some brazing there, aluminum brazing of two Coke cans, which came out really nice um, using the aluminum or the Alumi weld from Harbor Freight. This little pencil torch had enough fuel or enough juice to actually uh, braze these two cans together. Towards the end, though, I could tell that I was already starting to lose uh, flame, so my fuel was getting pretty low. It still lights up, though. Um, that's just it might ha it might have gotten a shock, um, just because the fuel wasn't stabilized and I was kind of just I just agitating the butane in there. But um, hey, it seems like it's going again. But uh, I think. The maximum runtime maybe would be about half of what you would get, or what it is what is stated on the uh, packages on these little torches. So an hour runtime, I think I can get maybe anywhere from 15 to uh, 30 minutes on full. It just depends on how you fill this thing up. Anyways, this little thing packs enough punch to uh, braise two cans together. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, how strong this would be, but it's pretty strong. I mean, I'm not going to break that apart. I'll probably end up uh, 
bending the cans before anything. But, uh, anyways, um, would I recommend this? Hell yeah. This little thing is cool. Um, I do also recommend that you use all the fuel inside the little torch uh, before you actually store the thing away because if you leave this pressurized over time, um, it will leak. So, but, uh, anyways, that's the review or my review of the pencil torch from Harbor Freight. And as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.